What up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to go over ways that you can make money as a freelance web developer. And stick around to the end because I think the last one is one that not enough people talk about and it is a great way to get clients as a freelance web developer. Now, for context, as long as you have at least an understanding of HTML and CSS, you can create static web pages. And if you know how to make very complex apps, this can work for you as well. So stick around. Let's go over all the ways that you can make money as a freelance web developer. First, we're going to get into some of the most common ones, and that is Fiverr and Upwork. These are great ways for you to make money as a freelance web developer. The competition is very high and people are trying to outbid you. But let me just say that, and just because it's cheaper doesn't mean people will pick you. People pay for what they want. And if they want something good, they'll pay the money. This is a very oversaturated app, but it is still very much a viable choice for when trying to make money as a freelance web developer. You just gotta get those first few projects in, get some good ratings, and then it'll start to build from there. But getting the first few ones may be difficult, and you may have to uh, undersell yourself in order to get that. So many different projects you can find, so many different experience levels, check them out. Next, obviously you can get a w-2 job it's a little bit tougher in the 2024 era but it is still possible you can make money as a full-time part-time or contract worker this is how most people make money as a web developer and in this time it is a little more difficult to get jobs but it is still possible it is definitely a way to make money it's probably one of the most common ways full-time employment who would have thought the next way that you can make money as a web developer is templates. So a lot of people make templates that you can use and alter and change in order to make websites. I've used templates from HTML5 myself in order to get a head start or at least the structure of the landing page that I want to create for a business. Now, maybe you got a little bit of design experience or you understand what people are looking for. I don't quite have that eye, but if you do, you can sell these templates on Theme Frost and Template Monster. Etsy is a good place to sell these at. You can also create your own website and try to sell it that way. It may be a little bit harder, but you can create the frameworks for other people to use and alter themselves in order to make landing pages for other people. Next, we're going to talk about teaching and content creation. Kind of like what I'm doing right now, even though I'm not getting paid for it at the moment. I know that this can be a viable option to get a second source of income in my near future. As long as you guys keep hitting the like and subscribe, button. Speaking of which, do that now. Thank you. You can create content and teaching material on YouTube, Udemy, and LinkedIn are really good places to do this. And you can sell your courses for money. And that is a way to make money. If you understand the concepts enough that you can teach them to other people, you can make coursework and, and things for other people to learn from, and they will pay you for that. This is a way to make money. Now, this one is one of my favorites. I think I came up with it on my own, but I'm not for sure. Future me here. I did not come up with that on my own. I seen it somewhere else and I took the idea and I forgot where I seen it from. Damn my ego. So I get on Google map and I start moving further and further away from where I'm at. And I find businesses that do not have web pages. When I click on the business and I look for the website button on Google and I don't see one, I put their name down, I put their number down and I put their address down and I make a list and then I reach out to all these people. And since they are in your local neighborhood, sometimes you can appeal to them like, Hey, I live down the street or, Hey, I grew up here or whatever it may be, but you have that local connection that you can start with and find businesses that need landing pages. People want to know the numbers. They want to know about the money that they can make from having a land page. So if you do a quick Google search, you can see that people that don't have landing pages or websites tend to have less sales. And that is a good way to start. Pick a number. I think it's from 30% to 50% that if they have a web page, it can be an uptick in business. Not all businesses want to do this. Some people don't know how. Some people are scared. Build that connection with that company, build them something and work them out. I have found this to be very valuable. It's a really good idea. Great way to find local mom and pop stores that need a website. Do it for a couple hundred bucks. Give them a good deal. Work with them. Great way to make money. So yeah, we're just going to keep this short and sweet. Get to the point that these are ways that you can make money as a web developer at any experience level. Let's not say any. As long as you have at least HTML and CSS under your belt to make a landing page, you can do this. You can get started today. This can help with motivation while you're learning because if you're making money while you're learning and you're doing these things, these are confidence builders, if anything else. These are experience to put on a resume Make. Do it. If you're learning right now and you can make a basic web page, do some of these tips. At least try because once you get that first one, that feeling you're going to feel is going to be so good and such a motivating factor. I suggest you get started today. If you got some value from this channel, please hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.